Hi, I'm Jason. I am with Intextural. We distribute sustainable, innovative building materials, and I am here with Johnny. He is from Cedar and Stone Nordic Sauna. They build premium, custom, high-quality saunas here in Duluth, Minnesota, and we are here to talk about Rich Light. They have a lot of experience using Rich Light in their sauna applications, uh, and we're going to walk you through how to install Rich Light in an exterior cladding application. Let's go. So Cedar and Stone uses Rich Light in a lot of your cladding installations. What are some of the reasons that your clients are choosing Rich Light? Yeah, our clients love Rich Light uh, because it's super modern. Uh, you get those nice, beautiful straight lines. Uh, and it does a great job of protecting the building against the elements. And do you need any special tooling to work with Rich Light? Uh, not really. You know, the most important thing is a good saw with a high quality blade. We use a carbide tip if we can. Uh, if you're not comfortable freehanding the cut, uh, you can use a track saw like we have here. Um, and most important, uh, as you'll see, for all of our cuts and for all of our fastener lines, uh, we chalk a line just to make sure everything's nice and straight because you're gonna see all those fasteners, you're gonna see all those cuts, uh, so it's important that those are perfect. All right, let's do some cutting. All right, we've got our panel laid out here. Today we're using 24 inch on center spacing for our fasteners. Uh, we're also holding the fasteners off one inch on either side and in the corners. Um, as you can see, we've used a chalk box to get nice straight lines uh, where our screw holes are gonna go. You can use a laser line. Um, today we use a chalk box, but either way it's important that those fasteners are in a nice straight line because once it's up on the wall, you're gonna be able to look down the line of screws. Um, it's gonna be a visual point of the project. So uh, we'll get this panel drilled out and up on the wall. All right, Johnny, so we have our panels cut. Uh, we already have one four by eight sheet up and screwed 24 inches on center. Uh, what we're doing for our shoot here is we're gonna just represent a, a different scaled panel size. So you can gotta, kinda get a sense of what the panels would look like uh, at a larger scale. The first thing I'm seeing here, of course, is our rain screen system. One of the most important things when installing Rich Light right, is the rain screen system. We wanna address water. So here we're using uh, just Sega weather barrier. We have a Quorex furring strip. We like the Quorex furring strip because it allows you to have your bug screen system on the top and the bottom. Um, and you can also put it horizontally uh, to hit your seams and that allows water to drain and air to flow. But you, you can use other kinds of furring strips as well. Yeah, you know, the important thing is that uh, the siding is held off by some type of furring strip. We want good airflow back there and we want a place for water to move. No matter how hard you try, some water is gonna get back behind here. So it's best to plan for a course for that water to escape. You can use green treated one by fours. You can rip green treat uh, plywood. Um, as long as it's, there's a little bit of an air gap back here, you'll be good to go. And that air gap allows that panel to dry, right? So we're, if, we, if we were against the sheathing and the sun was hitting it, it would dry and then you'd have issues back there. But this allows for that air convection to come up to and dry from front and back. Yep, exactly. So when we're thinking about exterior siding, water being trapped is a bad situation. Uh, so we just wanna make sure that uh, the inside of the house is protected with this weather barrier, um, but that there's an airspace here so it can dry out. We're not trapping water against the siding. Sounds good. Should we get some uh, panels on the wall? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's talk about fasteners. I have here a two and three eighths inch stainless steel number eight pan head screw. Today we are using the stainless steel color. We can also color match that to the black. Uh, but it has a nice, cool aesthetic look here with the stainless steel, just really up dealer's choice here. But when we use this, we're going to fasten it through our holes. 
through our panel, through our furring strip, through the sheathing, and hit the stud, right? Yeah, ideally, if we can, we want to hit the studs with the screws. Uh, that's just going to tie the sheet, uh, the rich light sheet, into the framing of the building and just give it that much more strength. Okay, now talk to me about uh, spacing here. Sure. So what we've done here is we hung this first sheet perfectly level. Um, then we can come in with two 3 8 inch spacers on the top and the bottom and pull this sheet nice and tight. And what that's going to do is keep a consistent gap here uh, between these two sheets running all the way up. So, so once we have these panels tight against the spacers, we can go ahead and fasten uh, with the screws. All right, there you have it. The panels are installed and it looks beautiful. As you saw in the installation video, Rich Light really does operate like a very dense wood. So if you know how to work with wood, you will have no issues working with Rich Light. Uh, no special tools needed. Uh, and the beauty of Rich Light is that it's very durable. It is class A fire rated. It is water resistant. You don't need to put a finish on it. In fact, we recommend no finishes. So you get the panel and you put it up. Nothing special you need to do to the edges. These come in four by eight up to five by 12 sheets. And we carry that in stock here at Intextural. And if we don't have it in stock, lead times are always two to three weeks, every time, all the time. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out Intextural.com. We are here to answer your questions and help you out. Thank you for being here. Thank you to Johnny at Cedar and Stone Sauna. He's awesome. They're amazing. Go check them out. And we will see you on the job site. Music